Hey guys, welcome back to the second video on how to prepare the Fly Factor 757. Today we're going to fly from Manchester to Palermo and I'll show you guys how to set up the FMC really, really fast. Before we do that though, we want to load the plane real quick. So we're going to need a fuel truck, chocks, passenger bus, stairs. I know we need 35,000 pounds of fuel and we have to open the doors otherwise we can't actually get passengers on the plane loading the plane now this is important if you don't want to wait a long long time for this to happen turn off real time before you first do thing it. if you wanna so we got the AP running which is where we left the last video so now we're gonna bring up the FMC click on the FMC top left the little screw it's quite important if you click this you get an orange K now what this means is that if we type on the keyboard it shows up in the FMC makes it a lot quicker also important this is your NAV data I haven't updated mine I'm still on cycle 1601 so if you use an online flight planner try to look for one where you can specify which data set which cycle you're on because otherwise it will give you because um, these cycles they change waypoints they change uh, um, airways yeah, it just makes your life harder. Try to find one that uses the same data set that your FMC has, and then you'll have... Of, of course, if you fly VATSIM, you know, try to stay up to date and uh, update your FMCs regularly. So we're going to do position initialization. We are at Manchester. We can pop the last IRS position in here. Right, our origin is Manchester, our destination is Palermo. Next page. Right, the first waypoint is Listo. So we will fly a, a standard instrument departure to Listo. Then we're gonna go on L612 to Hon, where we change on to UL612. So U means upper, so it's an upper airway. Now we stay on UL612 all the way, all the way. So what you're looking for is where the airway changes. So here, that's the next airway, right? When UL612 to UQ223. So UQ223 gives us Ugolo intersection or U Ogulo intersection, which we got right here. So then we got the UQ223. We're gonna stay on this until we hit. M135 or upper M135. So I'm going to have upper M135. Gives us Milpa. So if you have a look at Milpa, 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 here we go. Milpa, right? So from Milpa, we're now on the UM135. So you can be until we hit UL or L50 or UL50 at the top, right? So we're going to UL50. And then that gives us top. Excellent. So we stay on uh, Uniform Lima 50 all the way until we hit Uniform Lima 12, which is LBLB. That's right there. We got that. Stay on UL 12, UL 12, UL 12, all the way to Chiano. Excellent. And from there, we got a standard terminal arrival to uh, Palermo Airport. We can activate this, execute, performance initialization, all the boxes, you can click on it, so that's our gross weight, fine. Reserves, I think we have 10,000. Okay, let's try 10. Uh, cruise altitude, I th think I have 7-0. And the cost index, we try 50. Right, take off, we're gonna do five degree flaps, and then we can, uh, it suggests us the V speeds. Here we can derate the thrust, uh, which you can see on here. So if you zoom over here, right, we got takeoff thrust. So if we put 10 degrees in here, we got 1.72 limit, 1.60. And I think about 99 is the, or 70 or so is the max. 
Yeah, so this is how you can derate your engine. We're going to go with 20 today. Quite a long runway. Uh, the 757 is extremely overpowered anyway. It flies like a rocket. It's insane. Center of gravity, the trim is 3.1, so you're going to you want to set that here. I like to trim it slightly nose down, not too much, uh, not too far back. Otherwise, it'll start floating off the runway too early, really. Um, and that's it, basically. We got pre fly complete. We can choose our departure. So, check your. I don't think this gives me meter data, does it? No, it doesn't. Uh, check your data, check your weather. Let's just assume we've got 2-3 right, activate this runway, and then we want to list to our departure, because we go back here, we see that our first waypoint is list though. Uh, so I know that 2-3 right is going to be the list of 2R, that's a southwards departure from Manchester, so we can activate that. Execute, says active, active, and then if you want to check this, you go down here, this knob, you turn it all the way to the right, to fly plan, zoom out a bit, well now what you can do is you can do next page, well, zoom out even more, so you see this is Hon, right, we are Listo, Hon, and now with the next page button, we can jump through our route, that's our last point, Tiano, before we land at Palermo, so this way you can quickly validate if all your waypoints are accurate should be if you use the right uh, the right cycle information it shouldn't give you kind of wobblies so that's it uh, we're all set to go uh, we can ask for push and start and I'll see you guys in the next video on how to start the engines bye bye